I'm going to miss this enchanted city of 80,000 in population. Everybody's physically fit on their bicycles. There's historic monuments everywhere, but it feels like, oh, and there's the famous bells. They have the greatest bell school in the world. Let's go hear it. Oh my God. Welcome. Oh, it's Damien. Oh my God. President Obama just visited his house back during the time when people had leprosy, they took him to an island and left him on this island to die. And this man named Damien went to the island, he was a priest, to take care of them. And of course he got leprosy and died there and they recently made him a saint. Oh, this is the church he built on the island for those that were sick. It's beautiful. For Stephanie's birthday, Margaret was the ruler of Lower Netherlands, a woman ruler. How exciting to have your birthday candle lit for a wish for you, Stephanie, in Margaret's cathedral. So I know that you're not with me, but I want you to imagine blowing this out and making a wish. Margaret Cathedral. Here's a replica of it, and what's interesting, Paul told me that the reason there's no steeple at the top is because they ran out of money and they're leaving it historically correct for its time. The carillon? Yeah. It's uh, the, the music you hear in the church towers. They hang bells and the guy is like an organ in a church. Uh, he controls the bells, which uh, he makes songs and plays music. And usually it's in the bell towers, like the bell fort in Brugge, the tower here, the cathedral in Mechelen. So they are all over Belgium, but the most famous school in the world is here in Mechelen. So okay. everybody, it's free, so people are sitting on terraces and listening to the carillon. Oh my God. You see? Just love, falling in love with your city, just okay. to let you know. So this is uh, opening next year. The most beautiful flower shop in the world. It was an abbey and it's been fully restored by a wealthy family and they fly the flowers in from Paris. I bought this pillow, make a wish. Paul took me to the residence of Margaret, the ruler of Netherlands. I was so excited. I'm pointing to her emblem on her front door. There it is, the lions. A famous Flemish sculptor bought this historic residence that was once a home for 15 needy women and she won the 2002 award for maintaining the historical authenticity of the home and these are her these are her women dancing in the yard and she actually came out to cut some roses for her home while I was admiring her garden there she is <laughs> lucky me um, the 
girl who imports them from Peru. It's, it's such a beautiful story. She, the, the cacao beans come from Peru by boat to the Netherlands. And the girl who is Dutch lives in, in Antwerp, in, in Belgium. Um, she goes by bike uh, to the Netherlands. And there she puts all the, the beans in her bag and then she rides by bike back to Belgium. So it's a, a beautiful way to, to, to um, support the nature and the environment. So that's the reason why she, she goes by bike to the Netherlands just to... Do you know her name? Um, yes, Isabel. Oh, uh, happy birthday. <laughs> there you go, Stephanie. Today's your day. I'm taking you all around uh, as if you're with me. Yes. It's really nice meeting you. I really, I couldn't wait to come back here. Oh. I love your place. <laughs> Look how beautiful Sarah wrapped your present, Stephanie. And it says, hip hip hooray. I found this picture and I wanted to have my hair cut exactly like this. So I took my computer with the picture on the desktop to a store that had giant scissors. And when I entered the store, she said, this is a tailor. And she sent me down the street to have my hair cut by this amazing hairstylist and her incredible cat. And here's the final product, woohoo! And now I'm ready for our night out in Antwerp for dinner with David and his colleagues. Thanks for watching and happy birthday, Stephanie, from us and Margaret, the ruler of the Netherlands.